Hi, this is Momo in the morning. Just wanted to give you a quick update, and nothing has really changed in the state of Illinois on this coronavirus situation. Illinois has horrible management, and they have very, very silly, stupid policies that raise taxes every single year, cry they need more money, hire more people, give bigger raises, give better benefits. They do everything they can, but they can't fund what they can without taking it from the people who can't afford it anymore. Now the situation got worse because this is the first time in civilization that I can find, and I've been Googling it for hours, that they quarantine the healthy people. In the old days, they quarantined the sick people. Now they're quarantined people because they're healthy. They don't want to have people that are healthy risk getting a disease from sick people. This is nuts. Now we turn around and we say everybody has to have six feet social distancing. We got to wear a mask. Businesses can't open. So the businesses are going out of business. They can't afford to keep pay paying the uh, rent. And now all the stuff that they normally buy from their vendors isn't being bought. So now all these people are hurting. Yet the government in Illinois, they want to turn around and pass a progressive income tax, which is really a tax increase. They say that it's going to help 96% of the people. Yeah, they say $4 the first year, most of them. And then after that, it goes up every year. So it takes two years and they're making twice their money back. And they can increase their tax anytime they want. I'm just mad because every single day that this place is shut down, everybody loses money, including the state of Illinois. My question is, does J.B. Pritzker, our Illinois governor, believe that money grows on a tree? Or maybe he thinks it's a plant. You get the money plant. And then the plant grows the money. You don't have to worry about nothing. Or is it that he wants to make this so damaging that he's telling the federal government, you have to bail me out because there's no way we can come up with this money. Illinois cannot do it. The people can't afford it. It's a number so high, no one can pay it. Well, I doubt if the people in the federal government are stupid enough to bail out any state that has horrible policies and really horrible management. And when I say bail out, that means that states that have been fiscally responsible for all these years, they're not asking to get bailed out. And they certainly don't want to and should not have to pay any money to a state to help them out because they're the ones that create their own crisis. And they're not even about to fix it. If you bail them out, it'll only take them a couple of years and they'll be back in the same problem. I don't know what's going to happen. I say lots of prayers. Our only hope is that God wakes JB up, but I don't know if he's even a Christian. Maybe he'll get put in jail for the toilet operation that he did to save taxes on his house. I don't know. But I do know one thing. I am really, really fed up with this whole thing. God bless you guys.